Modern Horizons 3 collector booster boxes. These suckers are expensive, but if you are familiar with the channel, I'm doing giveaways now. The giveaway will be whatever the best card of the box is. So the way you enter is just leave a comment below. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. Of course, I would appreciate a subscribe and a like. And I do giveaways for all of my box openings now. Oh, there's like a spot. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe. There we go. So you know when I post videos, because I do a lot of giveaways. All right, so these are US printed, so the good cards are in the back. The commons, I'm just gonna go a little bit quicker through. And then we've got a Swamp, nice. And then these should be a common and an uncommon, or common and or uncommon, uh, old border cards. So those ones aren't really good either. Wooded Foothills, nice. All right, fetch land to start us off, and we've got Dissa the Restless, Commander Mythic. Put those over there. Genku, the portrait style full art. We've got White Orchid Phantom. Cool, cool. And ooh, a six, the portrait six in foil. That's cool. We've got six without the Wren. That's a pretty cool card. All right, so not a bad pack. We got a fetch land. I do want to keep track of how many fetch lands we get per box. All right, Eldrazi Repurposer, Solar Transformer, Forest. We've got Jolted Awake and Dragon's Rage Channeler. Oh, Ruby Medallion, nice. Very nice. Got Blaster Hulk for Commander. There's a Commander slot in these. So there's always going to be a Commander card, I'm pretty sure. Shifting Woodlands. Not a fetch land. This is the other land cycle. Imskur, Iron Eater, an old border. And Grist! Oh, wow! That's an amazing card. Foil Borderless Grist Voracious Larva. That could be the giveaway, honestly. That card is quite expensive. All right, so, yeah, good stuff. So let me ask you a question. Do you want me to do all of the openings soon? And like get them out before actual official release date but then the videos won't have prices like this one it wasn't going to have prices or do you want me to wait until after the official release and then i'll put the prices in the video and we can see kind of how much value these boxes actually have if you were to get one shortly after release grim servant meta static evangel all right, Kudo. All right. Sunken Palace is for Commander. Flooded Strand, very nice. Fetch Land. And I guess that would be extended, right? Ooh, a Ruby Medallion. The second Ruby Medallion, interesting. Very cool. The Borderless Ruby Medallion. And Amphibian Downpour. That is, I don't think, a good card. All right, so Petrifying Meddler, Tranquil Landscape, Volstrom Angel, we've got a Full Art Island, Sling Gang Lieutenant, and Evolution Witness for the Old Borders. Now we've got the Necro Bloom, and Blood Braid Challenger, Commander card, Harbinger of the Seas. Flare of Duplication, Old Border. Cool. That's a cool looking card. Recruiter of the Guard. Nice. Very nice. Mythic. 
Old Border Foil Mythic. Gotta love them. So I think we're really looking for Eldrazi, but there are lots of other good cards in the set as well. Nesting Grounds, Full Art Mountain, Evolution Witness, and Null Elemental Blast, Harbinger of the Seas, Bismuth Mind Render, got Abstruse Appropriation. That one I think is not terrible, I think. Can I see it real quick? Um, no, I don't see it very quickly off the top of... Oh, that one's a good one, though. <laughs> there we go. Ugin's Labyrinth, another fantastic hit. And a foil sapphire medallion. That was a amazing pack. That pack definitely paid for itself. That's our third medallion, two fetch lands, two really good mythics. I think the Grist is more than Ugin's Labyrinth, especially since the Grist that we have here is in foil. All right, Conduit Goblin, the creation of Avacyn. Whoops. A border list for Full Art Forest. Unholy Heat and Galvanic Discharge. Now we've got another Ugin's Labyrinth. This one, a regular border foil. That is some good value there. I mean, considering these are like 380 bucks, there better be some good value in these. Wooded Foothills, another fetch land. Brings us up to three. The Necro Bloom. And Flare of Cultivation, borderless foil. All right, second half of the box. We've had a pretty good first half, I'd say. Pretty darn good first half. All right, Faithful Watchdog, Breathe Your Last, Deep Analysis, Forest. Now we've got, ooh, what was that? Abiding Grace and Unstable Amulet. Then we've got Imskir Iron Eater. Interesting. We've not gotten an etched card yet. Hourglass of the Lost. Ugin's Binding! Wow, we are getting a lot of really good cards. That's an amazing pull there. Psychic Frog. And a foil! <laughs> We've gotten two Ugin's Labyrinths, one in foil, one in non-foil. Holy cow. Now, let me tell you, these boxes are very expensive, but it is also very fun opening them when you keep pulling $50 to $100 cards. All right, Deceptive Landscape, Kami of Jealous Thirst, Utter Insignificance, Inventor's Axe, Vexing Bobble, got Mountain, now the Old Borders, Galvanic Discharge, Abiding Grace, Shilent, Shilgengar, that's hard to pronounce, Shilgengar, now we've got Silver Quill Lecturer, and Argent Dace. Grief, nice. You know what? I'll take a retro grief. Not bad. Hey, there's our etched. Etched mythic. Ashling Flame Dancer. Very cool. Not familiar with that one off the top of my head. This is a mythic, right? Yes. So grief is not the best of the elementals. But I'll still take an old border grief. That's pretty cool. I do want to say that uh, I opened a Modern Horizons 2 box, collector box, at the beginning of this year. And I want to say, called it. I totally called that they were going to reprint the Elementals. Which, I mean, to be fair, is any any pretty much anyone could have seen that coming. But it's interesting that they did it in both the... Uh, ooh, Ulamog! That's so good. We are getting so many good cards. 
Ulamog the Defiler in foil. All right, Kaith, Shilgengar, Soren, another great card. This is an amazing box. Running out of space for all the goods here. Null Drifter, Retro, Ugin's Labyrinth. We have three Ugin's Labyrinths. I almost have a play set of Ugin's Labyrinth from one collector box. This, uh, this box is pretty crazy. Grist, three Labyrinth, Soren, Ulamog. This box is pretty crazy. And we're not even done yet. We have three packs. Reef Worm. All right, Plains. Now we've got Meltdown, Accursed Marauder. The good stuff now. White of the Reliquary. Copy Land. Orm's Chant. All right. That one's not bad at all. Borderless Orm's Chant. Windswept Heath. Another fetch land. This one in Old Border. Brings us up to four now. Invert Polarity for the foil. Well, that pack opened up pretty nicely. All right. Grave Dig. Copy Crook. Legion Leadership. Here's the mountain. Now we've got Old Border. Stuff that no one really cares about. Psychic Frog. Horizon of Progress. Aether Revolt. Not terrible. Sewing Mycospawn. Interesting. I pulled an art card of that in the bundle video. Roshin. Etched Rare. All right, so not every pack can be a winner. All right, last pack. Can we get last pack hit here? Guardian of the Forgotten. Whoops. Island. All right. Marionette Apprentice and Tune the Narrative. Now the goods. Crick. Son of Yawgmoth. Eldritch Immunity. We've got Fanatic of Ronus. Kappa Cannoneer. Nice. New to modern. This was originally from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I remember that card when it spiked. Wrath of the Skies. So the last two packs were kind of meh. But overall, holy cow, that was a lot of good cards. So let's look at some of these things. Things that I like to keep track of, at least. We got three medallions, a regular border foil, a borderless non-foil, and a borderless foil. The sapphire is pretty good. I don't think the ruby is one of the better medallions if you're comparing them against each other. Now we've got four fetch lands, one old border, two extended non-foils, and then one regular border foil for a total of four fetch lands. And then we got a ton of good cards here. So you guys let me know. We're still in pre-release. So let me know. I think as of right now, I think these two cards would be the most expensive. Oh, no. Ulamog. Oh, that's the old border, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Ulamog is pretty good, but this is the regular border. So I'm thinking either the Grist or the Ugin's Labyrinth would be the best. It's not a textured Grist. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments which one of those bad boys do you want because I'm going to give one of those away. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. I have six more. I actually have a sealed case. I bought seven of these. So if you want to see more, that box was awesome. That was so fun to open. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.